Greetings to you. Welcome to the Fixed Focus Program. I am Ibrahim Hashemi. In this program, I want to deal with the Focus Fixed System and see what is the advantage of this system over other systems. Before examining the Focus Fixed System, I will summarize the study of solar thermal power plants. The first power plant I want to talk about is the solar tower. Magnificent and beautiful high-tech power plants. I personally like this power plant. This power plant has a series of problems that I will address. The first problem with this power plant is the complexity of its system. Each mirror must transmit sunlight at an angle to the focus. Therefore, the complexity of the system makes its equipment more expensive. The second problem is that farther mirrors are not worth using. Because farther away the mirrors deviate from the focus with the slightest vibration. And in practice, farther mirrors cost more. The third drawback of this power plant is that we cannot run it in small areas. Therefore, it is not possible to use this power plant at home. The fourth problem we can get from this power plant. That is, if the sun is on the horizon position. A number of mirrors lose their functionality. Therefore, the best place to work for this power plant is in the tropics. As a result, this power plant cannot be installed at home. Well, let's move on to the next power plant, the parabolic trough power plant. The power plant you see is the parabolic trough power plant. This power plant has a very simple system compared to the solar tower. But this power plant has a fundamental problem. And that is a waste of solar energy. And whatever the sun moves horizontally and obliquely. More power plant waste. But in the tropics, the energy loss is less. We cannot use this power plant as a home power plant. Because it occupies space longitudinally and has a waste of energy. Let's go to the third power plant called Dish Parabolic Power Plant. The third power plant to be inspected is the parabolic dish power plant. The solar dishes of this power plant do not have a fixed focus. They cannot activate a boiler like the two previous power plants. And activating the boiler causes the steam turbine to rotate. Therefore, motors such as motor sterling are used in its center and directly converts the thermal energy of the focus into electrical energy. But the main problem with sterling engines is that they are not economic. Because it has a high price compared to the output power of the system. Also is it not economic to maintain such systems? The heavy structure of the system is another problem with this power plant. Which will ultimately increase the cost of the plant. Now, if the focus of the dish is fixed in this power plant, we can pass the hot liquid focus and activate the boiler. The system I am considering is the focus fixed system. So let's go check out the new focus fixed system. 
The focus fixed system is very simple and easy to understand. I will introduce the new focus fixed system very quickly and briefly. Suppose I have a sphere and I cut a part of it. The detached part can be considered as a solar dish. This dish has an F focus and it is a radius of the sphere. And we know that the focal length of the dish is half the radius of the circle. If you look at next figure carefully, this sphere is the cross section of the previous sphere that you see in a circle. And this red circle is the focal circle whose radius is R. These circles are tangent to the main circle of the dish at point M. And the AB dish is related to the previous photo. AB AB Now if we make the dish AB always remain tangent at point M. It means that, movement the dish is always tangent to the focal circle. The focus will always be fixed and the dish will be movable and variable. If you look at next figure little carefully. I will raise this issue in another way. If this is a focal circle and at any point of it a circle with a radius of dish. We can draw a circle that will be tangent the focal circle at another point. For example if the center of the dish circle is point M, this circle is tangent to point N. And if a circle is drawn from other points, it is tangent at another point. And this means that the sphere contains the dish is tangent at a point. Now I want to show a practical way to move the dish. In this figure, you see the same dish. Dish AB that I specify. Now if AB is our dish and I move it according to the focal circle. Our dish will be movable and the focus will be fixed. In this shape, the AB dish can be moved by bearings and tow wires. For easy understanding, I have made a small example of this system. You can see a small example of this system. It works very easily. If you watched the first part of Focus Fixed Programs, you have seen the making of a flat dish. In this small sample, I used a flat dish instead of a parabolic dish. It does the same thing for us and it does not matter. If you look at more careful, you will see that the system has two fixed and movable parts. The moving part can rotate 360 degrees, and the bearing separates the fixed part from the movable one. As you can see, the dish also has a vertical movement. Movement of dish from the position where the sun is perpendicular. It can be changed as the sun is on the horizon. Therefore, the vertical movement of the dish is a maximum of 90 degrees. In this small sample, the focus of the dish is 8 cm. The focus is yellow and is always constantly still. Therefore, the above system is adaptable to any movement of the sun. As you can see, the above system is very light. All you have to do is move the engine vertically. and make a horizontal motion with a gear motor. So two small gearbox motors are enough for this. Let's look at an example of a solar water heater that works with this system. We are now in front of the sunlight. See this small example of the above system. Focuses sunlight exactly at its focus. We see the original example of a system that is a solar water heater. 
The surface area of the dish of this water heater is less than 1 square meter. And it can bring the water tank to the boiling point very easily. The dish you see is tangential to the hypothetical sphere of the focus. Fixed is focus and composed of copper pipes. Focal point temperature when oil does not pass through the focal tube is approximately between 200 and 280 degrees and this is due to different seasons. Now I turned off the oil pump and sprinkle some water with watering can. On the focus and you see how fast the water evaporates. Of course, I have to say that unfortunately I forgot to clean the surface of the dish. As I said, the system has two engines. A small 3 watt gear reducer motor for horizontal movement. You can see that by changing the movable part, it returns to the first place again. A small 5 watt gear reducer motor for vertical movement. If I take off their cap, you will see that this motor causes rotation. The spool is towed and allows vertical movement. You can see that the engine turned on by pulling the tow wire and moving the dish. I must say that both system engines are permanent working engine. The system control box has an electronic board and a battery. You can consider a number of battery charging circuit. The motor is a hot oil pump that pumps oil through a copper pipe and moves into the water tank and the focus. The oil motor is operated by this 10 watt panel. And that 5 watt panel is for charging the battery. And because the system consumption is low to move the dish, a 5 watt panel is enough. We can put a rotating protector on the center to protect it from cold wind. You see the most important part that is the solar tracking system. This tracking system has a visibility of 180 degrees. That is, if the sunlight is tangential to the surface of the tractor, it is activated. The red part on the tracker contains a number of photocells. Their job is to shut down the system in cloudy weather. I cannot think of anything else. Here you can see how I can move the dish easily. The shadow of the focus is always in the center of the dish. In fact, the entire fixed focus system should work automatically all the time and during the day and night. 